look, I'm sorry I had to do that. I am so sorry. But I had to. I had to, Pa. All right. So this is uh, the second part of uh, the core set, 8th edition. I'm really hoping to freaking hit a home run here. So let's see what happens. Uh, the first time around, not too bad. You can go back if you haven't seen that video yet. Um, it aired about a week ago. So check it out. There were some pretty solid pulls in there. I think I had like six foils. And foils from this set are no freaking joke, especially rare foils. Urza's Tower up in that ass. Let me scoot these back. Scoot, 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 scoot. I feel like going for a bike ride. You feel like going for a bike ride? How oh, I feel like going for a bike ride. I might go for a bike ride tonight. I think I'm going to do that. Mountain Fallen Angel. Love angels regardless. Uh, Fallen Angel for five drop. Flying, sacrifice a creature. Fallen Angel gets plus two, plus one until end of turn. All right. Let's actually take a look at one of these packs. Make sure nothing's messed with on any of these. Doesn't, uh, there really doesn't seem to be any kind of bullshit in this. But with anything, especially older stuff that's more expensive, I think before you crack it open, you should probably just give it a little once over, you know? Um, I don't care who you bought it from. I really don't give a shit. I don't care if you've known the guy your whole freaking life. Uh, you got to be careful with anything magic. But um, I don't think these ones are so much worrisome. I think it's the ones... Uh, uh, the vi the real vintage stuff. That's what you really got to look look at and be a little curious. Sage of Latinam. Sacrifice an artifact, draw a card. Uh, I guess I can see a purpose for that. I'm sure there's a few cards that would combo nicely with. Now let's get out of some more serious stuff. Because I'm really hoping something serious happens. We got a foil. Fudge yeah. See, look, you can tell. See how it's dark? See how it's dark? It's a dark border. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're good, we're good, we're good. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Likes and shares mean a shit ton. Swap it. Ooh, so we got an uncommon foil, I'm assuming. Furnace of Wrath. I believe that's Tempest as well. Tempest as well. If a source would deal damage to a creature or player, it deals double that damage to that creature or player instead. Holy shit. And a uh, Demolish. Foil. Destroy target artifact or land a four drop. Demolish. Are you worth anything, Demolish? Let's take a look see here, shall we? Um, probably not over the ten dollar mark. Probably not over the ten dollar mark. Uh converted cause. Let's go with rarity. Let's go with uncommons. Apply. Oh, demolish foil. Are you worth something? Damn it, Urza's mine's 40 bucks. Or same with the power plant. Damn, Demolish, you're not up in the top ranks, so you're probably like a dollar. All right, all right, all right, we tried. Damn it. Damn it, Bobby. I told you, Peggy's not going to give me a lap dance tonight. So it's your turn. Is that weird, Bobby Hill? I don't know. Hank Hill's a freak, man. That pack... It looks like something weird went on there. I don't know. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a little crease running down it. You see that? Let's see that little creasy. See a little creasy poo? I don't know what to make of that. The rest of it seems pretty good, though. If people can really, f like, friggin... All right, no, uh... No foil here. But if people can really fake, like, these packs and, like, open them and reseal them... <sighs> We live in a very scary world, I'm just saying. Come on, something nasty. Coat of Arms, I'll take it. That's a great card. Probably like 10 bucks. Coat of Arms, each creature gets plus one, plus one for each other creature in play that shares a creature type with it. That's a freaking nasty card. EDH Commander, what's good? It's calling you. If you don't have that in your freaking deck, let me tell you, you need it. Because that thing is badass. False monster! I have the original one. I'm, I think it's from Legends, maybe? Or Antiquities? One of the two. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Alright. Wall of Stone. Urborg Volcano. Stream of Life. What's gonna be? Rook Egg. When Rook Egg is put into a graveyard from play, put a 4 4 red Rook creature token with flying into play at end of turn. Man, I was hoping to see some of the real big freaking pools. I mean, we got some decent stuff here. Um, I think about five to six so far. $10 cards plus 
from the entire box I've opened thus far. Damn, no foil. Uh, but no crazy awesome foils, at least not that I'm aware of. Flash fires. Living terrain. Urza's mine, all up in that. That's solid. What do these normally go for? Uh, non foil. I'm curious. I'm very curious to find out what they go for. Uh, Urza's Tower. Urza's Mind is the most expensive uncommon. It is $3. That's cool. And it's in mint condition, baby. Flying Carpet. Produce. Target creature gains flying until end of turn. That's not bad. It's something. Man, I want to see something really freaking big up in here. We're down to maybe 11 packs. Let's all just sing Kumbaya and keep our fingers crossed, shall we? I think we have a foil. We sure do. Oh, we sure do. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Sword of Rats Island. Phyrexian Arena. That's a solid card. At the beginning of your upkeep, you draw a card and you lose one life. Very freaking nice card. Thieving Magpie. Magpie? Magpie. Magpie. Uh, flying whatever thieving uh, mag, I mean, say that right, magpie deals damage to an opponent. You draw a card. Hand it up, baby. Hand it up. Someone's like, dude, you screwed up. Your Urza's mine, bro. You're all effed up, Moss. What's wrong with you? You slip and you fall. You can't get up, player. All right. All these pinch marks. I don't know what that's about. Moving forward, shall we? Is that another foil? It's another foil. Damn. All right. Come on. We got to have some luck with some nasty ass freaking foils up in here. Love of God, give me a nasty foil. Give me something to just freaking get stupid over. Swim rats, salt marsh, pyroclasm, decent. Inferno. Inferno deals six damage to each creature and each player. Another one, damn. We pulled a lot of the uh, the uh, land foils up in here. That's the third land foil we got. Planes, baby. Let's see what those go for. Let's take a gander. Doesn't really matter too much to me, but I like to know because this is like one of those older uh, sets and I'm not really sure of the value of this shit. So it'd be cool if I freaking knew. All right, um, type. We are going to look at lands in the foil column. Click, 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 click. They don't even have basic lands listed. Oh, if I go to foils. They don't have basic lands listed. Why the hell did they do that? That's stupid. All right, maybe the site I'm on just freaking blows. Whatever. I'm using Card Kingdom right now to look up prices. I don't go by what they're asking. I drop it 10 to 20% because I know they inflate the prices. I'm just saying. Damn. All right, looks like an artifact though in the end. Could it be? Could it be? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Could it be the big one? Spirit Link, Treasure Trove, Megram, cool card. Whenever an opponent discards a card from his or her hand, Megram deals two damage to that player. Brutal. Dingus Egg, damn it, son of a bitch. Whenever a land is put into a graveyard from play, Dingus Egg deals two damage to that land's controller. I'm sure it serves a purpose somewhere. I'm sure a foil purpose will be better. All right. Oh, I think I see a foil. I think I see a foil. Oh, it's a, not a foil. All right, all right, all right. Got a shock up in here. Shocks are always good. Shock and sizzle. Look at that. Wooden sphere. I like a wooden sphere. Gluttonous zombie. Gorilla tactics. Forest. Blast Reversal. You gain three life for each creature attacking you. That really fucking sucks. Pardon my French, but that really freaking blows. I want this dude. What's he about? Is that a... Who is it? Double-Headed Dragon, I'm guessing? That's nah, probably not worth that much. A two-Headed Dragon? Yeah, Moss. Double-Headed Dragon, you idiot. People are saying that right now. What are you going to do? Sneaky Homunculus. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'd like to see one of you sit down and just pronounce cards as quick as I pull them out and just go, bam, that's bam, that's bam, bam, bam. Wrath of God, hell yeah. There's a little bit of excitement. Wrath of God, destroy all creatures. They can't be regenerated. Dope ass card right there. Get some. That is freaking sweet. Nice little pool there. Nice little pool. One might even say it's 
juicy, juicy, juicy. All right, nope, no foil in the back there. What are we gonna get? Come on. Is that focus really good? Yeah, I guess it works. But with cards in the background, it probably like messes with it. That's all. Puppeteer. Tap or untap target creature. That's dope. Definitely going in a wizard tribal EDH deck that I'm going to make. Uh, Primeval Shambler. Star Compass. Forest. Glorious Anthem. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. It's not too bad. Pretty solid enchantment right there. I'd like to have that in a foil. That'd look cool. <coughs> Down to five packs, Jack. What's it going to be, Captain? What's it going to be, Captain Scrappin? We got, what, three foils so far in this? Was that? One, two, three foils so far in this. Twiddle my thumbs. A plague beetle. Curiosity killed the cat. We got a spell book. Necrato. First strike. When a cradle comes into play, destroy Turk and non-artifact, non-black creature. That can't that creature can't be regenerated. It's pretty dope. Fleeting image. Return fleeting image to its owner's hand. Damn. So close. That's not a bad card though. All right, four packs. Are we gonna see something stupid? Are we gonna see something stupid? I don't know. Stupid is as stupid does. You're watching me right now. That's stupid enough, so. Sizzle. The Ashino Sandstalker. Phyrexian Hulk, revive. Island Call of the Wild. For four, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put it into play. Otherwise, put it into your graveyard. That's a cool card. That's a cool card, man. Yeah. Uh, what deck would that be good in? What do you guys think? Where would that suit? Where would that have a good purpose? Molly Drought, Seasoned Marshal. Steel Artifact. Whoopsie doodle. Whoopsie doodle. There we go. Seasoned Marshal. Steel Artifact. Execute. Destroy target white creature. Such a limited card to use right there. Forest. Bloodshot Cyclops, damn it. Sacrifice a creature, Bloodshot Cyclops deals damage equal to the sacrifice creature's power, uh, equal to the sacrifice creature's power to target creature or player. All right, all right, all right, all right. Down to two packs. Can we get something really freaking cool? That would make my day. I'm sure it would make your guys' day too. Is that a foil? Nope, no foil. Looks like a white. Maybe it's a worship. Maybe it's a worship. Boom, boom. Elvish Scrapper, Sanctimony, Shivan Oasis, Boosh, Rolling Stones, Walls may attack as though they weren't walls. Hey, that could be a freaking badass card. Who wants to make a wall deck and use that card in it? Could be doing something, I don't know. Something, I mean, a lot of walls are cheap, but man, they don't have much attack power. Is this the last pack? Oh my god. We're not going out with a foil. That sucks. All right. I think it's an artifact, though. Maybe. It's hard to tell. Stormco. Enrage. Hunted Wumpus. Ardent Militia. Millstone! I'll take that. That's cool. I like the card. Might not be the most expensive, but it's a badass card. Uh, two to bring out. Two to tap. I believe this is my favorite artifact, in case you didn't know. Millstone, Grindstone. They're both up there. Uh, tap it uh, for two. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. That's cool. We went out with a nice little card there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you hit the like button. It helps out a lot. And as always, peace, love, and anal.